What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python Basics tutorial video. This video is going to be discussing another built-in function to Python called exec, which is short for execute. So what does exec do? Exec compiles and evaluates whatever you pass through it in string form. So this is actually a compiler in a compiler. Okay, so Python in Python. And so notably, this is actually one of the more, most dangerous functions that you could run on, a, say, a, a virtual private server, especially like a web server, if you have any sort of dynamic data being passed through the exec function. So please keep that in mind. Now, I don't want to scare anybody off. Obviously, I mean, any compiler on any machine is dangerous, okay? So we can do lots of dangerous things and bad things with Python, and we can do lots of beautiful things with Python and really cool things. And the same is true with exec. So anyway, let's jump in. So first, let's just show a really simple example. Like, we can execute, uh, like we did before, print. Um, so this works, too. So this works like eval, let's say. Okay, so we can save and run that, and boom, it printed. And but if you recall, uh, we weren't able to define like something, you know. So we'll get to that. But first, let's show an example where it is not like eval. So let's say you have list string, and list string is going to be a string first of all, and it'll be a list. So we'll just put some put some numbers in here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so that's your list string. Now let's say list string equals exec uh, list string. Now if you recall, doing this with eval was successful. But what happens when we compile and evaluate what we pass through? So we could do something like this. Let's print list string. So this says none. Okay, so so that does not work because what's happening here is this is ba it's almost like a compiler so like for example um, it's this is on its own okay so you're basically saying list string equals the execution of this so it's almost like you're telling like it's it's like you're telling python that something equals this right and now because it's an interactive uh, editor it's going to put that under there but uh, I, it would be like this, let's say, <laughs> instead of putting it in there. When you say list string equals exec list string, it's almost like you're saying it's like the action of that. So you get back none. So what would you do? Well, what you could do is you could come down here and you could say uh, exec, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll keep these here actually. Let's just do this. Um, we could say exec. And then we can do what we couldn't do with eval, and that is list string. We'll just say list string two equals, and then a list. Okay, and then we can go print list string two. So actually, we never actually defined list string two except in the execution statement, which is a string. So let's see if that works. Hot diggity, that worked. I don't know. I think it's really cool. So then we can step this up a little further and can we do something like this? Define test, we'll call it. And we could get fancy, but we'll just leave everything on the same line. And we'll say this. Um, oh, we need to use single quotes, first of all. And then we'll say, uh, oh, snip, snap, if that works. Then what we can do is let's say see if we can call this test function. Oh snip snap, it worked. Okay, so we're even able to define new functions in here. Now this should work. Let's try uh, the following. Let's say uh, exec, and then we'll use triple quotes, and then define test two, and then print. Let's see if multi line works. Okay, so this is just a, a prettier way to e execute something. And then we'll call test two and we'll see if that works out for us. And wouldn't you know it, that works too. So pretty cool uh, that you're able to do, uh, do that. So 
That's exec. If you have any questions or comments on exec, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.